Yo Sammy Dogs, welcome to your 10th CSS animations tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can chain duplicate animations together. Wow! Alright then, so this is our animation so far, all looking pretty cool, um, except what I want to do now is add on another animation to this Mario dude right here so that some part down this road he just jumps. Just once, that's all I want, just for him to jump once. And so to do that we're going to have to chain two animations together. But the first step, as we know, is to create our animation using keyframes. So we're going to do that first of all for the jump animation. So we'll just say at keyframes and call this jump. And then we're going to define our animation in here. But this time, instead of using from and to, I'm going to show you another way to do it. Because if you think about it, there's no longer going to be two states to this animation. There's going to be three. The first state is when he's on the ground. The second state is when he's up in the air, he's jumped up. And the third state is when he's come back down to the ground. So we can't use from and to anymore because that's just covering two states. We need three states. So the other way I'm going to show you is by using percentages. And these are really good because it means we can use multiple states in between zero, which is the start of the animation, and 100%, which is the end. All right. So instead of from, we're going to say not percent. That's the start of the animation. And at this point, we want the top value to be minus 40 pixels because that's where Mario starts. If we just zoom up here... To where Mario is you can see the top value is minus 40 to begin with all right so when we come back down we want halfway through this animation Mario to be in midair now halfway is about 50% yeah so we're gonna say top minus 100 pixels so it's gonna scoot up into the air at 50% through the animation now at the end we want him to come back down which is at 100% so we'll say top is minus 40 pixels Again, so it's going to come back down at the end. Cool, so there is our keyframes animation defined. Now we just need to attach it to that dude right there, Mario. So let's go up here to Mario. And you can see we've already got one animation associated with it. So now how do we chain another animation to this? Well, it's dead simple. All we need to do is put a comma there and then add on our second animation and its values after this. So what I'll do is just scoot down to the next line so you can read this a little bit easier. And then first of all, we're just going to pass through the animation name, which is jump. And then I want this to take about 0.3 seconds. And then I want there to be a little bit of a delay as well. I don't want him to jump straight away as soon as we refresh the page. I want to wait about 1 to 2 seconds. So I'll just put about 1.2 second delay or something like that. Let's just put the seconds in there. And then after that, what I want to do is set the timing function to be ease to make it just look a little bit more natural. I just want this animation to occur once, so I'm not going to put another integer in for this thing right here, the repeat. I'm just going to leave it like that. So now when we refresh, after 1.2 seconds, you saw that little jump right there, and it just does it the once. Show you one more time. Cool. Alright, so now we have successfully chained two animations together on this one element and that's how we do it. That's all we do. We just combine them by comma separating them. Dead simple. So, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and like and I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.